Hello and welcome to the first edition of the week of news across Nigeria, where we give you information of what's happening now across the 36 states of the Nigerian Federation. I'm Alumide McCauley. On today's edition, the Cross River State's government partners with a Chinese firm on a truck assembly plant. The Oshu state government rescinds its decision to sack striking doctors. And motorists complain about the bad stretch of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway in the southwest region. Now, we begin in the south-south part of the country. Officers of the Eastern Port Command have been urged to up their game in ensuring better security around the ports and maintain good community relations in the discharge of their duties. This charge was handed down to the men by the Commissioner Eastern Port Command in River State, Emmanuel Ojuku, during his maiden briefing as the new Commissioner of the Command and the promotion of new officers along the rank and file of the police force. According to him, this is in keeping with the orders of the Inspector General of Police for the promotion of over 45,000 officers in the country to take effect from the 1st of January 2016, as well as better, better welfare packages for officers of the police force. We are part of the 45,000 junior officers, inspectors, rank and file, and traffic wardens obtained by the federal police will be on the first of this month, 2016. It's part of the welfare package of the federal police, and such packages include housing scheme for inspectors and rank and file, and also very good scholarship program for their children, and particularly for those who die in active service. It's part of the welfare package of the IG to motivate the younger ones, the younger ones, to give up their best in the service of their family. Staying in the South-South, the Acting Managing Director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, Mrs. Ibim Semenetari, has asked the management and staff of the Commission to join her in the renewed drive to accelerate development in the region. During their first meeting in the River State, uh, River State Office, Port Harcourt, she told them that to achieve the set's goals and implement the master plan, there must be professionalism in the discharge of their daily duties. This is a usual meeting for members of staff of the Niger Delta Development Commission, the NDDC. However, this makes the news because of the presence of the outgoing managing director, Basi Danabia, and the acting managing director, Ibim Semenitari. <laughs> Mrs. Semenitari takes over with a word of caution to staff that her time in the commission will be treated as emergency as there's a lot to be achieved in a short available time. It means that there will be no time to rest because I don't have any time to rest. It means that we have an emergency on our hands and we will work together. And so you will forgive the fact that I will call you 24-7. For Mr. Dan Abia, even though he heads out of the commission for now, he assures that his contribution is available if required. We have also assured the federal government that management staff will be available to continue with any critical issue and address any issue that may come up within this period. According to the Commission's reports, the Acting Managing Director inherits 1,510 projects with two electricity substations and two blocks of 52-room modern hostels and 236 other projects already completed. In a partnership, the Cross River State Government has completed arrangements with a Chinese truck manufacturing company to establish an assembly plant in Calabar, the Cross River State capital. Governor Ben Ayade, who met with the executives of Sino Truck of China 
asked the company to speed up preparations for the auto plant as all the infrastructure has been put in place. Nigeria is still like many years behind in terms of infrastructure. So infrastructure will still be core business. And as far as infrastructure is core business, China truck is in business. So you have no business staying in China, manufacturing out of China, shipping here. The bigger market, the new frontier is Africa. And if it's Africa, Nigeria is the epicenter of the economic nerve of Africa. And if it comes to Nigeria, the people who have the character, the elegance, the comfort, the poise, the patience, the civilization, and the education of the mind to tolerate, deal with, relate with strangers, with the ambience and warmth of the African hospitality, the people of Cross River State. Ben Nayade, the Cross River State Governor. You're watching news across Nigeria. When we come back, the Oshun State uh, doctors uh, have. The government is soft peddling concerning the strike in doctors, and they're not going to. They're going to rescind their decision to sack them, as was formally declared. Stay with us. <laughs> 